The construction of One World Trade Center has been lengthy and fraught with emotion and politics. After nearly five years of debate, study and design, construction workers were able to break ground. And now, a little over 11 years after the events of 9-11, the project is near completion. Uh, there's been a long uh, battle to get this structure built. It took much longer in the development stage because everybody wanted their say. John Salvarinas is the Structural Steel Project Manager for DCM Erectors, the company hired to erect and fabricate One World Trade Center. Major thing for us, the Structural Steel uh, contractor, is erecting the antenna, uh, removing the cranes, removing any temporary platforms we have up there, and getting off the job. The structure was designed by world-renowned architect Daniel Leapskin to stand in place of the fallen Twin Towers. When complete, the new Tower 1 will rise to exactly the same height as the Twin Towers at 1,368 feet. But a 400-foot antenna on top of the building will take it to 1,776 feet, commemorating the Declaration of Independence. Many have expressed concerns that a tower this tall might be a target for terrorists. But when asked about the safety of the building, John equated its design to a California seismic code, the toughest code to design a building. There are consultants on uh, One World Trade Center here that have been hired to do nothing but think about what could, what if, and how it can be overcome. The, uh, the concrete around the base of the structure, those are basically blast walls. They're there to protect the building in case somebody tries to do something at the base. The interior uh, walls are very, very thick. The uh, core walls start out being four feet thick at the base and only reduce to two feet at the top. Since construction began in 2006, the biggest challenge for John and his team in erecting One World Trade has been the weather. Uh, during the five years that I've been here, we've had the largest recorded snowfall in New York City. We have had an earthquake, followed a week and a half later by a hurricane. We have had another hurricane this year that has uh, dumped feet and feet of water into the World Trade Center hole. And the wind on a daily basis is killing us. We have, we have lost so much time to wind, it's, it's unbelievable. Barring any future unforeseen weather delays, construction is set to be complete by the end of May, at which point one World Trade Center will have become the tallest skyscraper in America and the fifth tallest building in the world. It is a symbol of hope and perseverance and a monument for those whose lives will never be forgotten.